want to grow up. Uh, you know? Right, yeah. Hey, in Brooklyn, there's a really great uh, uh, bakery called Peter Pan. They do uh, uh, a red velvet donut that uh, wow. I would pair this with. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Red velvet's uh, awesome. cheese icing on top. You know, after I gave right. my after I gave my pairing, I had another <laughs> idea because I took a sip of it and I, I, Danny was giving hers and I got this this great idea of having this with a shot of Zaya rum. Oh sh- yeah, neat. yeah, neat, mm. neat. Because they've the they've a certain there's no coconut in the Zaya, but it has vanilla and this has vanilla in it. So I thought it'd be kind of a cool. Okay, I, I would I, I would do the shot of rum with you for that. Cool. Yeah, okay. And drink that with that, but I'd still probably not like the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> can we switch to a real beer like one of Jacqueline's now? <laughs> like, yeah. one of, like one of Jacqueline's beers. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Hi, this is Danny Hoy, and you're listening to Key West Beer Tales, the sum of all beers. Awesomeness. What's the yeah. first one that we're going to have? Uh, the first one is actually, uh, it was it, it's a wheat, technically. Um, just as a, a side note, I kind of do my own thing with beer. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, let me in. tell you. Uh, <laughs> So, so Jacqueline, what's your yes. background? Why did you decide to brew beer? Honest to goodness, it was because... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Honest to goodness? Honest to goodness. <laughs> Gee, people. Um, Jeepers. <laughs> Jeepers. I was seeing other people do it and just kind of hanging out and watching, and I was like, I could do that. And that's really what it came down to, that I just kept seeing and watching the whole process. I was like, all right. And coming up with my own ideas, and I kind of do the opposite of what a lot of um, we have a lot of like beer snob type people. And okay, well, type, let's and let's use the word technical. I'm sorry, <clears throat> technical, technical, technical. And beer te- technical beer people, and folks in the club that have um, actually um, like B- BC- BCPG. I always say that wrong. That are actually accredited. Um, very, hello. Oh, accredited. Uh, yeah, that are actually like brewers. Beer, yeah, that are. Um, well, no, no, no. But no. actually, like beer judges. Oh, that oh, know gotcha. all of the. You know. Oh my gosh, it's this color and this. Um, this. You know. Whatever. Yeah. You know, it's got to be this. They know it exemplifies a particular type of beer. Exactly, and, which is wonderful, yeah. and there's a total place for that in the world. Um, I'm kind of the opposite of that. I get random ideas and decide to make a beer out of it. And somehow, so far, it's worked out halfway decent for me. So, now, do you start with a kit, or do you just uh, get ingredients? Um, or? Half and half. Okay. It, it depends on what I have in uh, have available at the time, and what equipment I have available at the time. So, what I typically end up with is some random idea. This one is. Um, is this going back to Chris? Going to Chris? There we go. That's yeah. going to Chris. Thank you. Um. Actually, a friend of mine that works at a little uh, health food store here in town handed me a thing of ginseng one day and said, hey, I think it would be really cool if you make a beer out of this. I thought so. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what that taste was. I was like, this is delicious. Thank you. I haven't tasted so, it yet. I've just been like looking and smelling. This is the long, it's drawn-out great, story about got this got an beer. amazing head. Yeah, please tell us. So, uh, yeah. so he handed me this this box of ginseng and said i really think it would be cool to make a beer out of this and I, he's like i know you brew so figure out something to do with it and i hung on to it for the longest time and i couldn't figure out something and typically i come up with some random idea um and i decided on ginseng and juice well wow. so you know the whole gin and juice uh, thing anyway, yeah yeah um so it's uh ginseng grapefruit juice or, or grapefruits in there and uh, juniper berries Laid this is your back. Laid back. I, <laughs> this is your IPA. No, this no. is actually a wheat. Oh, this is the wheat beer. Yeah, okay. the the IPA, the ones that um, I had told you about that were in the contest. Uh, actually, uh, one of the downfalls of brewing your own beer is that people come to your house and you drink it. Yes, you drink it. You drink it. So you when I <laughs> when I went to it. fill the growlers to come here tonight, ah, uh, there was. Not enough to bring. Oh, so, it's okay. I'm I, I glad had, you brought I dug this. into the 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 I had a, I had the the privilege to actually have had uh, a primordial version of this beer. You did. Yes. Way back in the day. Yeah. It's kind of aged a little bit. Better, yeah. I this is like. Yeah. This is. I think definitely much smoother than Sweet. when the first time. How I old tried. is this? And I, not um, that. This is probably four months. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'd have to call this a sour beer. A sour really? wine? I was, I was kind of. A little I bit think of it's same, a little like a sour, little tinge, it's, it's like tinge a of sourness to it. Vice, but a lot. Yep. It's it's got a red 
tint to it. Yeah. I mean, um, a deep red. It was, yeah. yeah, deep red. Very deep. Um, and extremely tasty. Yes, it's uh, very nice. Do you know what your alcohol, your ABV on this, by this the way? This one is 5.4. Really? Yeah. It's it's not a, yeah, not a would, big one at all. I would say no more than six, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is about right for mm-hmm. for the style of beer it is. And it's, I would drink a keg of it. Sweet. <laughs> that's, and that's, that's exactly why I do this, because I just want to hear people's feedback. <laughs> yeah. honestly, the, that, so you're, that's what I do. So you're in the local Key West Home yes. Brew Association. I, I am. It's the, the Conk Republic Bubba's is what it's called. Yeah. Um, Brewers United Brewing Better Ales. Brewing Better. And how many people are in this organization? Um, technically, if you look at the um, <laughs> kind of the whole role of it, of everything, I think we have like 50 plus members. Yeah, really? There's okay. a lot of people. Yeah, there's like, a lot of people. Like, not everyone is really all that. There's a lot of people that show up or are technically members. There's probably about 20 people that actually um, actively brew and we have a meeting every month. It's the first Wednesday of every month. Okay. And um, we, we have the Bubba Cup, which is very exciting. Everybody brings their beer in to try and whoever is voted as the best gets to win the little trophy for and, that month. And when does this happen? Um, it's it's the first Wednesday every month and it, and it rotates. It depends on... Um, we, we basically kind of go around different bars in town. Anybody that's got some decent beer. Now, now, when was this? Uh, you there was an event recently where your beer, two of your beers, uh, won awards. Yes. And what was did. that? I was super excited about that. I will tell you all about that one. <laughs> we uh, we actually have a. It's called the 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 head to head competition that we do once a year, and it's for charity. Um, Old Town Manor here in town mm-hmm. hosts it for us, which is a wonderful place. It's beautiful. Yes. It's a great location, and they they host and we charged uh, i think it's ten dollars to come in you get to the whoever comes in gets three votes they get to try all the beer that's there and then we have judges that come um we try to get as much professional judges people that are accredited to come in and do it and this year we had 13 different beers um i entered two those are the ones i was hoping to bring here tonight but uh ran out so i had a uh, it was the hoppy guava ipa wow and a kolsch it was the first beer I've ever made that just didn't have anything crazy going on. It was, it was just a straight Kolsch. It was just a Kolsch. Yeah, good. And it was like tying my hands behind my back not to throw something in it, like pineapple or something. I just wanted to, but I didn't. And um, I ended up with uh, first place for judges yeah. for the IPA and tied for second place for judges with the Kolsch. Excellent. And got second place for people's choice for the IPA. Yeah. So I was very nice. happy. Yeah. Um, just for all, again, all those out there in a, um, Radio Land, um, Key West is a very small island, but um, we have a lot of beer. Um, <laughs> that we yeah. do. A lot. That's why and, we talk and about some, it so some, much. some of the beers that you were up against are were made by formidable brewers. I mean, some. One sitting right between us, uh, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but. Well, no, there's there's some folks that one of the one of the fellows is involved in the local brewery, the um, Bone Island Brewery. Yeah, it's his recipes that are actually sold there, and I I beat him for judge's choice, so I was pretty impressed with myself. Wow. I was feeling pretty good. Yeah, yeah. congratulations, um, especially as, as as quote a girl, because typically people will come up to me and say, "Oh, so who brewed this?" And I'm like, um, I did. <laughs> Hello, that's why I'm serving it. Well, so. here's a toast to you. Toast, toast. to that. Toast. Toast. toast to that. Yes. And then, and then, any, I, for I anybody out there doesn't I, think a woman Jacqueline, can brew I have beer, a you're question wrong. for you on the brewing process. Mm-hmm. We uh, were very fortunate because we just uh, two shows ago we had in our first homebrew. We we're doing this. We've been doing this show for almost a year now, and that was our first homebrew. And they, you know, we we're talking to to them about how they brewed their beer. Mm-hmm. Um, what they were doing is they were taking uh, already malt extracts, and they were using that. And they're in in defense of that, their beers were superb. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dave Senior went down for the count on one of them. <laughs> the tequila beer. On the tequila oh, beer. Oh. And, and you know um, what? It, it runs in the family, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it does. He was filling in for you while you're away, Dave. Uh, but uh, just out of curiosity, how do how what's what do you, do you do your own malting or whatever? Um, I've done both. Uh huh. Um, I've done all grain. I've had a couple of really good ones come out of that. Um, it for for me, I don't have all the equipment right now, 
So I've ended up having to go back to a lot of the extracts and kind of mixing mm -hmm. it in with grains and trying to, if you if you put it in, you know, put some grains in and boil them in with everything else, it yeah. gives it a little bit better sure. flavor than just yeah. the extracts. Yeah. So kind of a little hybrid. And who are you? They were using Northern Brewer, who I've used myself. Yeah. And uh, who? Just out of curiosity, because there's a lot of suppliers out there. Who are you happy with? Uh, Northern Brewer. Yeah, <laughs> that's who yeah. I yeah. use too. Yeah, yeah, they're really they're they're, they're great. They're superb. Yeah. yeah. They, when I when I was brewing back in Brooklyn, I mean, I've actually never used. I've I've only done all grain. I like it. And when I found out that you could do that the oh other God, way, it was so much easier. I mean, well, it's like <laughs> it's like it's cheating. like well, yeah, I know it's totally like cheating. I was like, I was kind of a little. I was like. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, actually, you know, a lot of the a lot of the commercial brewers will have th there'll be actual malters out there who will make malt and then they sell it to the brewers. So oh yeah, of it's course. not uncommon. <clears throat> so you're just you're just going. I, I admire you for taking the time to go through that. Oh man, that, process. That, I love the process. Good. I mean, like That's it, half it's the fun. it's half the it really fun. Is. And you know what you do when you make beer. You drink. You drink beer. You drink beer. Of course. Especially, well, especially when you're doing all grain. I mean, it's a. It's yeah, an you hours, have like a couple it's hours. It's like here. an all day process. Yeah, it's an all day thing. So, yeah. and and yeah. to to your point, that's what I started out doing. I was kind of the opposite. I started doing all grain versus the the extracts, and it was like this moment of clarity. Like, holy crap, this is so much. This is this is really easy <laughs> without all the the grains and stuff. I still appreciate the you know yeah. obviously it's yeah. there's a difference in the taste, but it seems and, to me that this is so much like like baking bread or something where you're you're, you're like really similar. taking yeah. the time yeah. to yeah. to make lot, something. It's a lot wetter. Yes. <laughs> yeah, bread, bread, <laughs> bread. You've got flour and stuff. You got yeah. stuff. Stuff well, and yeast. This is such a uh, unique beer with the ginseng. It's yes, just such yeah, a, a, it, an interesting flavor. It gives it that little and you said bitter you juniper. Yeah, juniper berries. I crushed juniper Good. berries. Yeah, that would be the juice aspect of the yeah. gin. The gin, gin and, and juice. juice. I was trying to get the well, gin. Well, no, gin. I mean that would be the gin yeah, aspect. The gin. gin of it. Yeah. Um, I'd like to interject on the uh, the uh, contest that was I don't know a few weeks ago that Jacqueline entered and en entered and and you and went won. there and I went there and I drank all of the beers. Did you? Every beer that was there. Were you as not Dave as drank you were two them weeks all. ago with the tequila? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a lot of good beer there. A lot of good beer. There was yeah. a couple beers I didn't care for, but the rest of them were fabulous, fabulous beers. So, and, But to win that competition with some great beers there, that's, that's a, some pretty good kudos there. Yeah, congratulations. Thank uh, you. She was up against another Kolsch. Um Maybe two cultures, I don't remember. But the, definitely straight across from me was another culture. Yeah. And uh, they prided themselves with uh, creating that culture 100% the way uh, in Cologne. Yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, and it was a, it was a good culture. But I got to tell you, I went over to Jacqueline's and straight up from, from there on purpose. I wanted to try the culture afterward. And wow. You know, so so the the point is not only did she win, she won against some great competition. Excellent, yeah. Congratulations, well, thank you, Mark. I'm just going to come here for this to... encouragement. No, I was just I, I was just going to say, yeah. I mean, like you know, that's what I was trying to get at. I mean, there's there's some steep competitions here. I mean, when it comes down to beer in Key West, there's a a lot of beer in Key West. <laughs> a lot there's, of beer. There's a lot of people that brew here too. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was yeah. amazing when I got involved in the in the homebrew club of how many people show up and then how many people just wander by and see us there when we're having a meeting we have our signs and stuff <laughs> know, about that's side. a lot of fun i know it, but then they come in and they're like oh my gosh i do this what do you guys do and, and it, there's a lot of people out there that are doing home brewing well yeah, as it a matter was of fact bruce um was in that uh, there, there's yeah. uh, one of the guys who frequents his bar and his girlfriend is a bartender here mm -hmm. bruce uh, i remember he he had met um bernard oh yeah Bernard's and, in, and they in were the talking club. and Bruce had never even known that there was such a club, and Bruce brews his own beer, and uh, that was probably a year and a half ago, I'm going to say, and mm -hmm. I believe he's now a member of the the group. I, I, don't, I haven't followed it, but I believe he is. I'll have to check my records. But that, again, that's like what Mark was just saying. You know, there's people that, and what you were saying, you know, there's people in town who don't even know it happened, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, wow, there's an organization like that? That's cool. Let me join. Yeah, and well, we've, we've really been trying to get it out there more so people know we're out there, and it's... Um, not only if you not only if you're brew, brewing, but if you want to just learn more. Mm -hmm. um, when we do the meetings, we'll pick like a style, um, get some samples, talk about it, 
give everybody some information. Like this is what a, a Maybach is supposed to taste like. Yeah. And this is, here's some examples. And so it gets a little educational along with a lot of drinking. <laughs> 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 Try to Sounds balance. like our kind of.